Can you all see that? Can you all hear me? If you can't hear me, you can. Um, okay. I can talk a bit about uh, 2012, to talk about what we've done in the last year. And then I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about, um, flesh out a bit about what's the moving forward. The Society is a charity composed of the felt that you engage in supporting conservation, research, dissemination of knowledge derived from the material mains of the past for the public benefit. I just thought I'd say that up front. Uh, these are the challenges we face. Um, the world is changing, has changed and is changing around the society and it does make it difficult to find our purpose and our relevance. We have many commitments and too little money and that has been a recurring theme throughout our history. As those of you who have read um, Dame Joan Evans's uh, history of the society. Uh, and we need to secure the public support for the care and research of our past. So as a society and a charity, what assets do we have? Well, we have the intellectual assets, and that is you, that's spirity, exper expertise and experience of our fellowship across the entire heritage sector. And we have our physical assets, our library and collections, Burlington House and Kelmscott Manor. So how are we going to manage this? Well, we've got to engage our fellows to use our assets and dissemination channels to make the case to the public for the care and study of the past. But simply, we must tell the public about the past, and in doing so, we will make the case for increasing the activities of the society. So, our strategy is to refocus on the fellowship, increasing and improve communications focus on our core activities and do these activities are for the public benefit make the society public facing improve the society's finances by greater efficiency and increased fundraising and I'll now go through the of 2012 to 13 to show you how we've been doing those things conservation now of course things happen to conservation research and this isn't easy because um, these three themes cut across everything that we do. But we have at Kelmscott, we've refurbished number one manor cottage recently, and we will have a very dilapidated state, and we're going to return that to the rental market um, imminently. At Kelmscott, we've got the Conservation Management Plan by John Madison and Merlin Waterson Fellows, um, which is uh, a wonderful um, initiative. Um, by those two uh, and it will set the foundation for the way we um, look at Kelmscott, take Kelmscott forward in the future and that will be um, out for consultation very soon. Uh, Dominic Wallace has been instrumental in the preparation of the launch uh, in uh, April of the Friends of Kelmscott Manor Scheme. Um, our first step towards broadening the support uh, for Kelmscott Manor uh, and I hope that uh, you've all received the um, literature on that. We've distributed £16,000 conservation grants from the Morris Fund. And in picture conservation, uh, we've uh, done an awful lot of work on our picture collection in uh, restoring and conserving them, uh, supported by grants and generous donations from fellows and supporters of the society. Research. We've held our research seminars at Glastonbury Abbey that we held here a few months ago. We have, of course, uh, a wonderful library, both physical and digital, and there's the Athens Gateway to our online journals, uh, and more and more of our inquiries are now coming home and email, uh, and more and more people are seeking digital access to our resources. Our grant program here has distributed over £50,000, and the John Evans bequest uh, contributes £1,000 annually to that, and the Janet Arnold Award now stands at 16000 and those are some examples of the projects that we funded uh, across, the, uh, across the year. Dissemination. Well, we have our public list series, which is very successful. Last one in May. Uh, very successfully, um, lots of people have attended those during the daytime. Um, this is one on a child, uh, medieval child monuments. 
uh, and now the lectures, all our lectures, are now available on the web, uh, as will today's um, meeting, uh, which Rene is um, recording now for uh, uploading to the web. A lot of fellows now access our lectures rather than being here. We've had 16,000 visitors at Kelmscott Manor, uh, disappointed down on the year before, but given the weather that we had last year in the Olympics, that's not too bad, actually. The uh, entire British sector, uh, heavy um, numbers have come last year. We had the return of the Make History USA exhibition, and we continue our loans program with the uh, Shakespeare exhibition at the BM. We learnt uh, five very prominent objects of that. And of course, we lent Morris's bed um, eight, uh, for the pre-Raphaelite exhibition and had in return a small exhibition of uh, drawings by Byrne Jones at Kelmscott, again, which was very successful. And our publications, um, we continue to publish Ant Antiquities Journal, uh, which uh, through CUP already open access compliant. Uh, and we've had over 10 years now of Salon, our very influential fortnightly newsletter. And Acta is taking a, 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 a real lead on exploring the impact of open access publishing on um, learned societies and the heritage sector, which has been very well received. And of course, we continue to be consulted on public policies by a number of government uh, and um, uh, national organizations. Fundraising. Dominic Wallace has been with us for 15 months and he's set in motion the um, Friends of Kelmscott Manor um, scheme. And I just want to read you a quote from an eminent fellow who uh, replied to our scheme. And he said, um, it seems to me important that in these early days as many fellows as possible should be encouraged to sign up as members of the Friends. I feel it is members of the public to donate and support Kelmscott without having solid backing from within. P.S. I've just signed up and believe I may be the first member. I, myself, and of course fellows will still get free access to Kelmscott Manor, but I'm taking out a, uh, friends, um, a friends membership for my mother-in-law and a friend. <laughs> Read it to you like. <laughs> uh, we, of course, uh, Dominic's raise uh, a lot of money and a lot of support from within the fellowship for our picture conservation program and that has been really really much appreciated uh, also in the light of what Steve said about the, um, the numbers of commercial room hire at Burns House we are now launching a major campaign to um, increase our commercial room hire we have uh, the slide there is the Jupiter Group, who are regular, um, some of our regular customers, uh, and are interested in, next time they come uh, for having a tour around the building, taking their clients around the building. Uh, and this is something we're working on with some of the auctions and hotels around Piccadilly. This is with the Cavendish, who are, Dominic, I believe, offering a 10%, possibly a 10% discount uh, on, um, on their room rates to, to fellows. Um, legacies are vitally important. Uh, you saw the impact of the, um, the John Evans legacy on our research grants and the Janet Arnold Fund. Um, and we'd like to thank those who have um, communicated they wish to leave the Society a legacy. Um, this is a special commitment uh, and it will really help us um, for our future and plan for the future. And we do make a big, big difference to the Society. And our research grants, we want to actually develop our research grants because we feel we should be doing more uh, to aid research and we should to, um, to give away more money to stimulate research and sustain research. And um, the development committee and the working group from the development committee are looking at developing funding for a rolling program of three-year research uh, grants for three-year programs. So what of the future? Well, as Stephen has said, we want to develop a rolling three to five year strategic plan society which will focus on fellows telling the public about the first steps include improved communications by complete overhaul of the website. We've appointed uh, INK contractors to completely 
overhaul our website and make it far more user-friendly, faster, provide you with more information, and also it, um, an opportunity for you to communicate directly with Burns and House and find out about what you're doing and what you would like to do with the society. That is, uh, is being worked on at the moment and we hope to have um, the web, new website rolled out in the autumn. We need to modernise the statutes and turn them into a, uh, a modern uh, instrument of goodness uh, and uh, not the, for those of us who have to implement them, the instrument of which we have to use um, and navigate our way around. Um, we have to complete the conservation management plan for Kelmscott Map and develop a five-year master plan which includes academic and public events as well as repairs, repairing barns and refurbishing cottages and business issues. Um, we need to build on the public lecture series at Burlington House and develop a range of public events and exhibitions involving fellows and the public. And we need to develop a publication which embraces the issues of open access, publishing and digital dissemination. And we have to continue the excellent start made by our Head of Development in raising funds to support these activities. So finally, we need you to support the society in telling the public about the importance of the past. Thank you.